Hello and welcome to my video series on Ymir. Um, I wanted to do a series on this for a while and now I'm doing it. Just a special note with this recording is that this game is a work in progress. It is only in version 0 0.2.5 and there's a lot of features still missing. I just wanted to make a new intro for this series specifically to highlight that this is a work in progress game and it is more work in progress than usual. So let's get in and I hope you enjoy the series. Hello, this is Jen Jeft here, and I am confused by why the soldiers are deserting. Uh, Stormy Night, exceptional tools. Why are they deserting? Why is my legitim my legitimacy isn't negative? <sighs> Who deserted? You're at three. You're at nine. Lovely. One guy left. Because of poor Anna. Reinforce you with four more. Because that is what the spare population is. Beautiful. And then... Uh, negative legitimacy. Why is my legitimacy negative? Oh, we can fix that. We'll add protector of the people. Boom. That doesn't cost... That doesn't cost anything. And the common good. Boom. Apply. Good, that doesn't cost me any state power. And we shouldn't have people deserting anymore. Ah, weaving. What does this require? Nothing. The Coria can do this, because that requires artisans, and that is where all the artisans are. Usually hard and rough, but some of them compete to always produce the finest weaving with the softest thread, experiment with new techniques and new materials. What if they manage to make a material thin, flexible, and light enough to use instead of a smelly leather hide we use for clothing? This will give us a reason to actually go down here and start getting the uh, flax up. So, that means we need to start planting more lettuce. <clears throat> Uh, three lettuce there. We're actually a little bit low on hose. Mm. <laughs> we have plenty of freaking hammers. Uh, you're at nine. What's your population? Oh, well, you're going to reinforce with six. And that's about it for now. I see that these guys have also joined out here. Empire of Mistake. So it looks like Empire of Mistake is getting up there in size. We'll probably end up joining eventually. Not a huge deal. That's fine. We'll have lots of things to trade with them. Let's see. Well, maybe not lots, but yeah, we'll have lots. Alrighty. So this place, you're at full. You're three short. So. Fun. Two. Three. There you go. You're at your size now. That leaves eight. And eight. Oh, convenient. And lettuce. Oh. One. 
That's in the way. You're in the way. You're gonna move right there. And that'll be built in three minutes. Goody, goody, goody. Alrighty. <clears throat> so there, well, no. Well, we'll be back in there in a few minutes anyway. Hammers, we've got plenty of hammers. We kind of need more hoes. So you're going to swap over to making hoes. Alrighty. And here we are. How much wood do you have? 40. That might actually be enough to finish putting this little fort together here. And it is. So now we have an island fortress. Make a couple gates and strategic tool. I'm going to add another perimeter. And we're going to actually delete that zone. So everybody will be in this place. That's a far better defense of the island than uh, what we've been doing otherwise. Alrighty. Um, who's making hammers? You're going to stop making hammers. Make me hoes. Okay, we've got you at 20, you at 20, and you at 20. Good, so we've got our three farms of wheat, three farms of chickpeas. And soon to have the one farm of lettuce. The first one. It has been built over here. There we go. That gets three more fields for the lettuce. And they'll stay on the chickpeas for a little while because they're not getting anything out of it. So pop this over here. So that way we have the relevant farm nearby where, it, where what it's growing. So easy reference. And they'll start building here and along here. And because of this, the nature of this terrain, we've got more farming area. Although I don't want to quite to get rid of all the trees. I'll be getting rid of a lot of the trees, especially where the fertility is six. Hmm. Some wheat, which is growing quickly as well. Population is growing rapidly here now. Which is good, but we're going to actually be moving much of the wheat and the chickpeas over to Vicoria. Unload that. And then the wheat. Unload that. 66% chance. Really? 18. 18. Should get a boost now. These people will be happier since we've got the wheat here and the chickpeas, which are being eaten up, the lettuce, which is starting to be grown more. A 
Okay. Things are going better. You're at seven. What's the value there? 94 value here is 97. Alrighty. Okay. We had moved the one thing, I believe it was. Yeah, we did. We moved you. And you have a bunch of lettuce to plant. go. Plus point two. Once those are finished, that'll be a much bigger plus. You have the chickpeas that you're supposed to have. Boost of 13. Good, 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 good. Okay. And you don't really need to maintain a wheat stockpile. There's no reason to. I don't think there's much of much else for me to do. We've pretty much done everything we can for the time being. Pretty much done everything we can for the time being. That is for sure. There's no exploring we can do because um, well, everyone died last time. What's your growth like? You're still growing despite the lack by the despite the fact that food was taken away. You're still growing. That's good because that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to be able to take stuff. We're going to grab all the chickpeas. I want to be able to take stuff from here, move it next door to feed Vicoria. Unload you. And that'll make sure that we have enough chickpeas for a while. Very good. The wheat's coming in. We'll get load of wheats, loads of wheat. Once we get market stalls, I can restrict how much people are buying, and then we can make these stockpiles last longer as a result. But right now, it's just everybody gets whatever they can take, which is literally everything. So I can't meter out things as time goes on. But hey, we got the average intelligence up to 19 and average population health to 50. So that should get us some good ideas. In fact, one, I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to grab all the wood from here. We're going to haul the wood over there. You have loads of tools, which is good. So unload the wood. We go in, and we're going to upgrade a bunch of housing, too. Better intelligence, more ideas. If we can push these guys to 20, like, an intelligence of 20 or higher, hey, maybe we'll even get brews. Ah, we've got some people that are homeless, so we're going to grab... Let's just straight up build these. Okay. 
I'll come to think of it, we're getting a bunch new, 22 new ones, in fact. Uh, do I build cheaper houses? I'm concerned, because I would rather upgrade houses to get them in there. We're at 70. We have 75 houses. Is 25, 50, 75. We're going to be going up by another 20. We'll be at 90. We'll do the cheap ones just to get everybody housed. And then once we have the cheap houses done. We'll upgrade the other houses with what's left. And if we upgrade the ones that have fires, because if you notice, if there's a kid outside, there's a kid. There's no kids outside anything. I guess it might be a thing with the large houses, because there's no difference in animation either. But sometimes you'll see kids outside. And I guess it doesn't matter too much. So we can upgrade two. Part of the problem is the fact we don't have a huge amount of leather, which is why I don't use leather for clothing anymore. I'm going to use flax. And once this thing with weaving is done, whoops. <laughs> I took them all away, and it's still like, yeah, you have them all. <clears throat> oh well, six hours. That'll be done pretty quickly. And we're gonna convert you to hose. Never mind the fact the artisans are all going to be busy right now. But hey, oh well. So you've been upgraded? What is your situation? 1.4. So you're making 2.9 lettuce right now. Which will make me happy when I get back tomorrow. Quite happy. Quite happy. I'd be happy if we could find dates. That'd be fantastic. But we haven't found any. <sighs> Should I steal some leather from... Megalos? Let's check the housing situation. They've only got ten leather. I'm going to be happy whenever I can stop using leather for housing. Because once I get better troops like bowmen, I'm going to actually need leather clothing so I can equip the bowmen. So what's your housing situation? You've got 25, 50 there, 25 down here. And your population is growing. Oh, your housing is full. And you got 20 more coming. And we can only build 10 more houses. Glad I checked. No, well, at least not everybody's going to be homeless. They'll just be mostly homeless. It's already at 15. What can I have two guys do? We got wood. We got flints. I might have to restart the clay production. Ah, this is what I'm going to do. We are going to make a second potter. We're not going to do 
anything in terms of a second potter, because I forgot I'm out of wood. <laughs> uh, you know what? They can get me more wood. <clears throat> uh, no, they can't. I don't even have the leather to make that. Oh, that's, uh, you've got some movement. Poke your head around, see if you can find anything to hunt. Uh, just this guy. Mistake. Kingdom of Haga. So he's out here exploring. It was a pretty small force, but he's exploring, nevertheless. Into the trees. We're looking for leather. And they're dead. They might live, but odds are <clears throat> wolves are fast. Wolves are very fast. And javelin men have no, no melee capability for whatever reason. None. Zip. Zero. Is there even anything useful here? Apples and such. Yes, no, maybe. Eh, nope. Did you guys just, like, spawn directly on top of the wolves so you couldn't even get a single fucking volley off? Yeah, they spawned directly on top of the wolves, so they couldn't get a single volley off. Crikey. Oh, well, what are we going to do with our surplus population? Rebuild the army. <laughs> again. And again. And again. They now have loot. Look at their loot. They have a wolf. And they have javelins. Because our army died again. But hey, on the bright side, we have 19 new porcos coming in. And we don't have enough housing. So it doesn't matter anymore. 22 plus 72 piglets. 79 value. Somehow this place has more value. <sighs> Another army gone. Joy. Oh well. We'll get this. We'll settle down here. Grab some lettuce. 20 lettuce. 20 hose. And whatever leather we can find and scrounge together. And come down here. Get the flax. And then we start shipping that elsewhere, because this is not supposed to be a full city. This is only supposed to be an outpost. But they've got fish, and they've got flax. We can make them grow cabbage. Maybe I'll be lucky, and then I've just been blind. We'll find out there's dates here. Not likely, but who knows. Who knows... At some point, I'm going to have to go to this place and drop down a city, even if it's temporary, to get the papyrus. There's tin here. Where's the papyrus hanging out at? Down here. If I can get loads of papyrus, I can start farming it. And this will be a much better way instead of using clay to get some of the stuff we can for like um, justice. We can use paper. That's far more efficient. 
That'll be the first time I see papyrus. But I don't see any dates. I could be blind. That is entirely possible. But, um, there just aren't any. So, so much for this being a short episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back next time. Adios. See ya. Good night. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added. Because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenGeft as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted, and any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.